Hello my dear students. How is everybody doing? I am sure you all must be fine. Children, you must have understood the exercises taught to you earlier. Today I am going to teach you another interesting exercise where I will teach you how to arrange the numbers in columns and add. In the exercises done earlier, the numbers were already arranged in the columns. We just had to add them. But today you will learn how to arrange the numbers in the hundreds, tens and ones column and then add them accordingly. So let's get started. The first example is a sum where I have taken three numbers. First number is a three digit number. Second number is a two digit number. And the last number is a single digit number. So let's write the columns. H for hundred. T for tens. And O for months. Now, the first number has three digits. How many months? Three months. How many tens? Four tens. And how many hundreds? Two hundreds. The second number is a two digit number. So we have only ones and tens. So how many ones? One one. And how many tens? Three tens. The last number is a single digit number. Children, when we have single digit number, there is no tens digit and there is no hundreds digit either. We have only the ones digit. So we will write 5 under the ones column. And now we will add them. On adding 3 plus 1, children, we will draw lines 1, 2, 3. And 1. And then we have 5 more numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will add them together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 9 ones. Adding the digits in the tens column, we will draw 4 lines. And then 3 more lines. And add them together. We have 7 lines. So how many tens? 7 tens. Now counting the numbers in the hundreds digit, adding the numbers, we have only two. Only one number, that is two. So we will write down two. So the answer is two hundred and seventy-nine. Two hundreds, seven tens and nine ones. Now take, we will take another example. Now children, the next sum, we will again write the columns. H, T, and O. The first number is three digit number. How many ones? Two. How many tens? One. How many hundreds? Three. Two digit number has ones and tens numbers. No hundreds. So, six here and six here. The third number also is a two digit number. How many ones? One. How many tens? One. We will add. Adding the numbers in the ones column. Two plus six plus one. Two plus six is eight. And eight plus one is nine. So how many ones? Nine ones. 1 plus 6 is 7 and 7 plus 1 is 8. How many hundreds? Three hundreds. No number here and no number here. So we will copy 3. So on adding 312, 66 and 11 we got 389. Three hundreds, eight tens. And nine ones. Let's see another example. Now children, let's try out this sum. The first number is a three digit number. The second number is also a three digit number. And the third number is a two digit number. So, write in the columns first. Hundred, tens and ones. In the first number, there are three ones. 
one tens and four hundreds. In the second number, there are five ones, three tens and one hundred. Now the third number is a two digit number. So where we will write two, two will be written in the ones column. So what is the meaning of 12 tens? 12 tens means 2 tens and 100. So I will write 2 in the tens column and carry 1 to the hundreds column. Children, we will carry 1 over to the hundreds column. Now adding the numbers here. 1 plus 5 is 6 and 6 plus 2 is 8. So how many hundreds? Eight hundreds. So when we add 526, 298 and 5, we get 829. Now another example. Now another example. 
Now children, in this sum we have only two numbers. The first number is a three digit number and the second number is a single digit number. So, H, T and O. How many ones are here? Nine ones. How many tens are here? Six tens. How many hundreds are here? Two hundreds. The next number is a single digit number. The number 8 will be written under the 1's column. When we have a single digit, we first try to fill in the 1's column. Now adding 9 plus 8. Again we will draw lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 and 9. Children, 8 and 9. 17 lines. So, 17 ones. 17 one means 7 ones and 1 ten. So, how many ones we will write here? 7 ones. And 1 will be carried here. Now we will add 6 and 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. Now only number 2 is here. There is no number in the hundreds column. So we will write 2. So on adding 269 to 8, we get 277. 